make demands on him and ensure that he continues to work for the people. He gets on the right people, the right team, and do everything that is the best in the best interest of Nigeria. You and I can do it. It's just a little bit of one thing. Whatever you did yesterday, remember, yesterday died last night. It's all about what is it that you're doing right now. What is it you're going to do? And that's what we almost uh, focus on. Two or a bit. Let me give you one thing. Can you talk to five people today about Peter Obi? Tell them what he's all about, the competence, what he has done before, and what we hope to see from him, and the fact that he has empathy, he cares for the people of Nigeria. Tell five people, convince five people, and let those five people go on to tell other five people. One for five votes, that's how you create those votes. And as you continue like that, imagine every day you're able to talk to five people and convince five people for Peter or B. How many people will that be? Before we get to February 2023, when we put on the, when we do the vote. So hey, we have all the work to do, and also remember to keep keeping your money aside that you want to donate for his campaign. He needs money. Most times when these people are talking about structure, it's always about money. To so every one of us, we must put our monies where our votes are. We we'll vote him, and so before he gives the account. He will, be, he will be the one. A lot of people have said, oh, set up an account. I said, no. He will be the one to set up his own account. And all we have to do is to donate in there and ensure that the money is being used judiciously. There must be accountability and transparency. So what you do for now, set aside the money that you want to be putting there. You want to be putting there 1000 every week? Is it 2000 Is it 500 Or you don't want to put money, but you want to put in the time into the campaign? You can do that and let's get that doing so our big enough goal is to get mr peter gregory or or b into the villa so that when we say mr president we want a b c d in nigeria so guys at the manner at which uh, a lot of people are campaigning for peter b donating here and there you see donations here and there and what have you it's just so incredible Really, really incredible. At some point, uh, <laughs> I remember when Lai Mwame said, Oh, Peter Obi must be arrested because uh, he cannot see clearly that a majority of the people who were involved in the answers were the same people or are the same people who are supporting him, left, right, and center. Some people say, Yo, it's online. This is issue. Hey, which one is online? Online president. Oh, this and this and that. But the presidency. From the angle of Lai Mohammed, confirmed that uh, the answers. So, are they telling us that the answers happened on social media? You see how they contradict, them, contradict themselves. What is really paining all of them? What is hurting all of them is the acceptance, the general acceptance uh, of a uh, Obi, and how it has the acceptance has already exposed all their candidates, and they know and they are fidgeting, and that's why some people will come out and downplay it. And don't be surprised, they are working so, so hard to make sure that uh, people are disenfranchised. That is just the way I'm seeing it. And like me, I will always say it. Everybody votes according to what you have experienced in Nigeria, according to what a uh, PDP has done uh, uh, for you and what uh, APC has done for you. Just imagine what has been going on. So it is not left for you, whether you want to go for Peter B or whether you want to go for so whether you want to go for uh, SDP and what have you, whether PDP or APCO, it's your choice. It's your choice. When you they suffer, they suffer. Nobody go suffer around with you. You go suffer around. When you they enjoy it, you go see get and so. Uh, for those who are really like somebody like Ayeshana, who are using all their energy and all of that, kudos to them. You know, kudos to them. Uh, you know, it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing. If Lai Mohammed could tell us that uh, the people who are behind Obi support are the ones that that that, that supported answers or they are the cause wahala, at the end of the day, then where is this a uh, social media precedence and what have you coming from? So your guess is as good as mine. So for those who are coming out, I've seen a lot of people, uh, both young and old, both uh, average Nigerian, both poor, both the rich. Donating left, right, and center. I think he, in one of the northern states, I can't really remember the particular state. A, a young man donated a, a baby 
salute that for Peter B, it was dedicated to Peter B so that people will be coming to have a free haircut, especially children. A billionaire in a dosage did the same thing, you know. It's been like that. I think two people that I, I have seen donated their space, their building for this course, and they will tell you, Oh, it's just social media, this thing. social media, whatever. They are just fidgeting and just, just to downplay it. And the same people use social media, they will tell you social media, they are, all of them are on social media. Doing what on social media? The next thing they say, Oh, they don't have PVC. How you tell no? Now you have them take a letter. Now you have them take a letter, the PVC. So, one thing that we need to do is just for us not to be discouraged because we can see those who you think that they ought to do the right thing, that they've been clamoring for good governance. They are looking for somebody who is not even a saint totally, but to a very large extent. His uh, baggages are very, uh, very, very, very uh, 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 tiny. You now see those people now condemning left, right, right. They ask them, where do you belong? Where do you belong? And that is it. Of course, all of them have been disgraced. All of them have been disgraced. So, like I said, for those who are helping with this whole thing, kudos to you. It is not an easy thing, no. It is not an easy thing. And what are you saying there? That it will be held accountable. It will be held accountable. We know those who are arrogant. We know those who cannot even come out and say this and that. We know those who will be telling you that, hey, 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 what do you what do you mean? I remember one of the interviews that uh, this man granted, Femi Adeshi, you know, he said, oh, for the fact that uh, you elected a, a, a president does not mean you're going to be uh, tossing him around, pushing him left, right, and center. <laughs> Just last like, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hmm. So arrogance. Well, Nigerians will definitely force him to act in accordance with the promises. <laughs> As they are forced, Buhari writes, Nigeria didn't vote for Buhari. Atiku and Tedumbu bought, bought the seat for him. No need to force him. He will do it uh, whichever way. He has no choice working for the people. He's sure and we trust him on that. You don't even need to force him. He knows what to do. Unlike your brother that is clueless. We pray for Obi's victory. Force Buhari now. Arrogance Aisha. <laughs> Please don't insult a great woman Aisha. You are not obedient and infiltrator. Please don't insult our great sister Aisha. Of course, that is a simple truth. Peter Obi sees Nigeria and not his ambition. Mm. Yes, he is a servant of the people. Therefore, criticizes crit uh, citizens will demand that they want him to do for what they want him to do for them. Because some people with human face, Peter Obi will not hesitate. Unlike the hardened ones, who will do what pleases them, and it's a matter of fact, they showed that criminality in them for using money to become flag uh, carriers of the of their parties. Shame, all of you. You you can come here and deny it. Oh, all of you, Atiku and Tinumbu, who say it the way it is. Now you will be saying you won't collect a waiting or you are expecting say because you are close to them in one way or the other, you want to get anything from them. You now you know go feed talk or because if you say somebody's from your village, tell me how they have helped you all this way. You are saying they are your people and you say, Oh, they have done XYZ. What have they done for you? Okay, it's just to select few individuals and begin to help them and you now say because of a few individuals they've helped that the whole country should bow to them. You you bow to them if you know that uh, you are really patriotic. Why should some people be selected and some people are left behind? So shame on you because getting to that uh, getting that ticket, they bought it. You can just you you can deny it. You can come out openly and deny it, but you cannot deceive your conscience. Your conscience can never never be deceived. You know it. So shame on all of you. You think somebody is popular? Somebody is a he is strategic because he has money to spend. See the way they've bastardized. Even before they got in, they, are, they get into their into the position. See how they are spending money. You want to serve somebody. How do you why should you be inducing the person? Why? Why would you be inducing the person? That means to, that is to tell you that uh, once they get there, you go chop with the water because all those money they will recoup it back. Or you think they are for that Christmas. For what? I want to serve you. I should not come and pay you. I should pay you for you to believe in me. 
Well, let him go to the Senate first, try and speak in the Senate for us to know he is capable of ruling Nigeria. I'm going to Senate to talk what? It looks you don't even know what is democracy. To so go to Senate, you know, you see, you see all these people, they will tell you, she will go and start for this. But somebody who has been a governor two times, you are telling him to go to Senate to do what? He sent his more, he sent his job more than the, the governorship uh, position he had. You see, they are just propagandists. They are just lose, look, looking for one way or the other. They cannot tell us that he stole money or he stole money. That one they would just tell you, say, I say they sell some money, uh, use some money for his family. They cannot even come out openly. They cannot even beat their chest that, yes, we know all the, some of the small, small accusations that have been levied against him, that they are so sure. No, no, I say, yes, he heard. What has he done? Everything is just because they are so lazy. Go and verify. And I've never seen those who worked with him to come out and say, no, people should not mind Obio. No, we worked with him. Uh, personally, I worked with him. All those things that he's talking about did not happen. I've never seen anyone coming out. The only thing they will tell you is not his time. This and this and that. Oh, it's just on social media. All those are rubbish and nonsense propaganda that do not even make sense. Those are the things that we are going to be hanging on. Well, like uh, I said, those who are campaigning, doing this, doing that. Now, nah, kudos to you, especially Aisha and the likes, uh, Peter uh, Koye and uh, the Peace Square. Kudos to all of you. Like me, mm -hmm. man on my own, I know. Begging people, by persuading them. You, you are trying. If you try your best, they don't listen. That is their own cup of tea. And if you're anywhere, they collect 5,000, collect 10,000. They will still come back. Uh -huh. They will still come back. Just like a P square said, one of the P square said that whether he loses of uh, whatever, that a lot of people are waiting that oh, in case he loses to come and mock him, uh, one of the P squares, whether Peter or, or Paul, you want to come and mock me that hey, let us wait, hey, Peter B will not win. He will, what's he called? Because you make it come mock now. You go so far now, you go see so far now. You don't go see get you go see the fire as you go say get lights as you go say buy data. Uh -huh. Now they say they still want to increase the uh, the the uh, tariff on 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 data, and everybody saying everything is fine. Somebody wants to come and continue from this rubbish. Buari said he does not even understand. Um, you know, it's 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 a pitiable situation that we have really found ourselves. So those of you, kudos to you who are encouraging people do this and this and this and that. When you have done your own part, just move on. If they like, they take it. If they don't like, they should not take it. Now they go see, come back. So, come, come top to go to. Where story did you force a Buhari to work for the people? What is not, that is not a story. That is, that is what we do. Why have you not said forced a Buhari to work for you? You deceive none but yourselves. It is well prepared. So, it won't even come as a surprise to him. He has all the solutions to your problem. And the ones here who are presently at the end of the affair, they have the solution, but they don't have the political way because of their selfish interests. Because of their selfish interests. They don't need to force him to work. Obi, if given the opportunities, come to render selfless service for Nigeria. Yes. Yes, that is exactly what he's going to do. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.